Hi, you've just joined me at home and uh, I wanted to just do a quick introduction to this Chris Kenobi video all about the dangers of seed oils. Take 11 minutes, I think it is, uh, uh, watch this and if you, you really want to go and also watch the full thing, it's amazing, very good, truth is truth, no matter how you try to cover it up and I think a lot of truth has been covered up. Enjoy this little bit, like, subscribe, whatever you need to do, but anyway, it's good, watch it. Let's go back to 1918 for a minute. This is Elmer V. McCollum, nutrition researcher. This is the, a book he wrote, The Newer Knowledge of Nutrition, and this is extraordinary, it covers thousands of animal studies because they really wanted to know what was going on with diet. They wanted to understand what it was that was driving health. And uh, I'm gonna give you an example here, and there's extraordinary studies. This is just one of, one of many. All right, so they take diets, now these rats, Rats are usually weaned at about 25, 26 days. And then they put these two, these two sets of rats on identical diets, except for one thing, the fat source. All right, so the rats on the left get 5% cottonseed oil. The rats on the right, 1.5% butter fat. That's all the fat they got, 1.5%. Here's what happens to them. The rats on the cottonseed oil um, grow to 60% of normal size and live 555 days on average. They're weak, fragile, sickly little rats. The rats on the butterfat, they are healthy, they grow to normal size, and they live 1,020 days. So they grow to almost twice the size, live twice as long, and are infinitely more healthy. Why? Anybody? Why? Fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, and K2, right? Those are not in any kind of vegetable oil, any kind of oil at all, in fact, uh, that comes from plants. You're gonna see this next. So McCollum says this in 1918. 1918, just look at the part I have underlined here. The diet must contain two as yet unidentified substances or groups of substances. One was fat-soluble vitamins, the other water-soluble. He says, one of these is associated with certain fats and is especially abundant in butter fat, egg yolk fats, and the fats of the glandular organs such as the liver and kidney. That's all the fantastically healthy foods, right? Right there. He says, but is not found in any fats or oils of vegetable origin. Even the healthy oils, coconut, palm, palm kernel, Avocado oil, uh, uh, real true olive oil. They don't have vitamins A, D, and K2, right? They're not there. He continues, McCollum, 1918, he says, both the growth promoting fat, which is butter, and the trace of unidentified substance in the alcoholic extract of wheat germ, which was the B vitamins, are necessary for the promotion of growth or the preservation of health. We don't just need these vitamins to grow people, we need them in adulthood and old age in order to, to sustain us in good health. And this is what we continually overlook, especially when we focus on macronutrients, I believe. I can't tell you how dangerous this is. So 1900, 99% of our fats came from animal fat, lard, butter, beef tallow, and suet, essentially. But by 2005, 86% of added fats came from vegetable oils. And notice, the vegetable oils are still going up, right? Now, take a look at this. Here's where the dietary guidelines were introduced, right? 1980. And remember, our fat consumption was going down and our carb consumption is going up. So guess what? Our animal fat consumption is still trending down and our vegetable oil consumption still going up. Didn't just happen in the US. Here's developed countries doubled in a period between 1963 and 2003. This is all around the world, developed countries doubled. Developing countries tripled. Japan, for example, four and a half fold. China, almost an eight fold increase. And this, this ended 17 years ago, this data. Where are we today? The Asians are getting as sick as we are, well, right? Look at the vegetable oil in black versus the heart disease deaths in red. Right? Everybody see a remarkable correlation? How about saturated fat in the purple versus heart disease? Anybody see any correlation there at all? Heart, saturated fat practically flat for the whole last century, changed five grams, right? In fact, I would submit, if you see a correlation between saturated fat here and heart disease, you would also believe that Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito are indeed twins. Um, okay, 3,000 calories a day. These guys only weigh about 128 pounds on average a piece. Their diet is 66% animal fat, 33 to 45% of that is saturated animal fat. 
It's about 17% carb, 1.7% omega-6 fat. Now that's the number I want you to pay attention to this whole time if you would. All right, well, what did George Mann find? They did 50 autopsies and they did, I think it was 350 EKGs, no heart disease, no heart attacks, except one possible silent MI in the entire group. Yet, our American Heart Association says no more than five to 6% saturated fat, right? So how do these guys get away with consuming up to 45% saturated fat? Well, American Heart Association would just say it's another paradox, right? Conventional medicine would say this, fools, don't you know animal fat would kill you, right? They would say this, you must eat more healthy polyunsaturated oils like Americans. So this is an animal fat diet. This is polyunsaturated fat diet. Animal fat, polyunsaturated fat. How many times should I do this? The, two, the, the, the Papua New Guineans in this study were were evaluated extensively, 1966 to 68. Sweet potatoes account for more than 90% of their calories. They live off of over a thousand different kinds of sweet potatoes. This is one of their harvests. They occasionally feast on pork and chicken. They are pork herders, but would rarely eat their pork. Um, so here's their diet, 1966 to 68. 94.6% carb, 3% protein, 2.4% fat. Omega-6, there's that number again, 0.6%. Now, what'd they find about them? Here's what they say in the studies. Population was lean, physically fit, and in good nutritional state. Absence of obesity and hypertension. No diabetes or gout was found. Ischemic heart, heart disease was rare, if not absent. And no macular degeneration. 340 people over age 40. What do these healthy populations not have? No sugar, no refined wheat, no processed foods, and no vegetable oils, of course, right? This is a study with isocaloric diets, okay? All the same uh, calories. Three groups of rats for three weeks, identical amounts of calories, protein, fat, and carbs, and omega-3 fats. Only one single variable in this study, and this is a very well-designed de study, uh, I, I believe. Omega-6, only variable. Three groups, beef tallow, olive oil, and safflower oil group. And you can see the omega-6 going from 4.4 to 7.7 .7 to the safflower oil group is the really high 36.6% omega-6. All right, here you can see, you can see that beef, olive, and safflower, all the calories the same. It's a high fat diet at 59%. Here's the omega-6, I circled the, the interesting part, you know, 4.4% in the beef fat group. Uh, versus 36.6% in the safflower oil group. Look how high their body fat went in the safflower oil group in three weeks to 54.5%. So what is this? Now, now, make a point of this. This 4.4% is too high, and I'll show you why, because they added it. linseed oil is, is what they really did. But here's, the, here's what happened to these, these rats in three weeks. Now, they all gained weight, but relative to the beef fat group, the olive oil group gained 9.6% more weight, which is 14.8 pounds human equivalent. The safflower oil, oil group gained 15.6% or 24 pounds human equivalent more, right? How's this possible? They're on the same calories. They're all consuming the same calories, right? Okay, now I had a problem with this because why did the beef fat gain weight? Here's why. Now, <clears throat> if you look on the far left of this, um, that group wasn't included, which would have been beef fat only, the one without linseed oil. They put linseed oil in here to try to give them omega-3. Well, they didn't need to do that with beef fat. It already has it. So we don't know. That, that group would have been 1.4% linoleic acid, but we don't know what that would have happened there. The group that's next in the blue, the beef fat plus the linseed oil, that's 4.4% omega-6, and look how much weight they gained, 27.6% more than where they were initially. The olive oil group was 7.7% omega-6, and they gained 37.2% more than that, what they weighed initially. And then look at the, omega, the, uh, the safflower oil group, um, gained 43.2% more than their initial weight. That is, the, that is 66 and a half pounds human equivalent for a man in three weeks. And the only difference is the omega-6. They all consume the same calories. So how can we consume only about 1% omega-6 
polyunsaturated fat? And you already know the answer, right? No seed oils, none, no vegetable oils, none of these kind of oils, no processed foods because they're, they're in all the processed foods and you know, no fast foods. Restaurants almost all cook in soybean oil and canola oil and they are disastrous. So if you consume 100% of your fats from traditionally raised animals, whether they be on land, at sea, or from fresh water, and you consume no processed foods, you are likely to be extremely lean, healthy, and live a long and healthy, good life. You're gonna probably look like a Maasai warrior. And if you're not that way now, eat like that, and you'll start getting that direction. You'll move that direction. On the other hand, if you consume 100% of your fats from the polyunsaturated vegetable oils, you will rapidly become ill, severely metabolically deranged, stunted growth in childhood, almost certainly overweight and, ob and or obese in adulthood, and your life will be cut extremely short. You'll meet your end extremely prematurely. This is a scientifically proven mathematical certainty, and it has been known for over a hundred years. Thanks, Chris. He's a great guy. Please uh, look at some of his other videos. Uh, really interesting, uh, real food for thought. And uh, so thanks. Do watch some of the others on BHC. Catch up soon. Bye for now.